Hey guys, uh, it's someone 931 here with another C++ programming tutorial and today we will be talking about static member variables um, instead of the static uh, variables that we talked about in the uh, last tutorial we're going to be going over uh, static member variables that are part of classes so basically a static member variable is a uh, variable actually before I go on about that uh, I should probably talk about how member variables work basically um, when you have member variables in a class and then you have objects of the class each uh, object has its own set of member variables um, they're all uh, different they're not the same now with static member variables static member variables are uh, variables that are not part of an object. They are actually part of the class itself. Um, there are variables that are shared between all objects of the class. Um, yeah, so basically they're just um, members that are sort of like uh, sort of normal variables but they're uh, within the class and they're shared by all members. So for example, consider this student class. Um, each student has a unique ID. And then um, basically how the IDs are assigned are you uh, assign it to the next available ID. Now, if you had a setup like this, where they're all normal member variables, um, and then you set each one to say like uh, 1,000, uh, basically um, each student object that you create would then have uh, a student ID of 1000 because each one is completely unique. Um, when you increment it, you when you increment the next ID to uh, give the next valid ID, um, you're incrementing the one for you're incrementing the variable for that particular object only. You're not affecting the member variables of the rest of the objects. Now, when you declare this to be static. next ID. Then um, it is shared between all objects of the class and it can also be accessed without uh, an object. So we could go uh, see out a student next ID. So static variables don't need an object to be accessed. You just use the class name and then scope resolution operator to print it out or do stuff like that. And also, uh, when you declare static members, um, they are automatically initialized to zero, but you can set it, but it's a sort of a weird process. First, you have to put the data type of the variable. Um, then you put name of the class, scope resolution operator, next ID uh, equals so if we want to start this at 1000 then we would do that and then now with our constructor what we would do is ID equals next ID and then next ID plus plus like so. So basically just uh, as a recap um, student um, uh, static uh, variables are very uh, static member variables are member variables that are uh, that belong to the class not the object they are shared between all instances of, uh, between all objects of that particular class so there's only one not one for each object um, yeah, uh, static, they uh, are created when the program starts, just like normal static variables, and they exist even if no objects of that class exist. They're automatically initialized to zero, and you can uh, initialize them yourself with uh, this particular kind of uh, initialization or value setting, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I think that's it for... Uh, static member variables. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate. If you have any uh, comments, 
feedback or questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section. And thanks for watching.